Morning guys, it's 6 a.m. We are up early today because today is a special day. We are hiking Mount Akatenango, which is a live volcano in Antigua, Guatemala. We are really excited. Lee, are you excited over there? I'm excited. <laughs> Lee wanted five more minutes in bed, but we're about to get up, pack, and get going. One of the best parts for us is it's an overnight hike. We wouldn't have been able to do it otherwise with Oki, but they're letting us bring him along, so he's super excited too. ended up being a bit more of a rush to get ready than we planned. Lee has this thing she gets really stressed if she thinks she's going to miss any time engagement. We've still got 10 minutes to get there so we should be all good. Lee's packed. Where's Ock? Ock is all ready to go. So we, one of the things we were super excited about with this hike was that we were going to be able to plant a tree at the top. We were kind of picturing like seeds to carry up and uh, have a look at this. It's really heavy. Can I bring you three? We are 15 minutes in and everyone's cooked. Such a baby, he prefers to be fed. <laughs> prefers the running water. going carrying the trees there Max? Well okay it seems like there's a lot of trees in our area <laughs> but I'm sure where I'm carrying them up to there's not. Just to prove that this hike isn't easy I don't know if you can see the the sweat on the forehead it's actually a pretty tough trek.
3,620 meters in elevation. Pretty cool. And the volcano behind us is going off. What are you doing there? We're planting a tree and we wanted to bring three up but we just brought two because they're really heavy. And Max so, carry them both. And why are you planting a tree? <laughs> to give back to Mother Nature. And to help with deforestation and it looks like Oki's trying to help as well. Yeah, buddy. Is he in your way? No, he's not. Okay. Okay. Oki, you keep helping, buddy. What do we name this guy? It's completely up to you, Lee. Aww. Why don't you name it after your nanny? Okay, this is Cecilia. Nanny, this one's for you. So lava is spitting everywhere from that. We're continuing our hike towards Fuego. Only six people chose this option out of 20, um, plus Oki. And the vo volcano is going crazy at the moment. It's erupting like crazy, the lava, there's live lava there. And so if clouds hold off, <laughs> Hopefully we're going to get nice and close and get some really good views of it. Run free and dive into the sky Hear the wind crying out its prayer While we are so Seem to be alive Break the chains And our freedom's out It's behind your back Chase the light when the world is getting darker I have a dream where love's the only side So take my hand Join the army of the shadows
So it is 5.30 in the morning. A uh, bit of a struggle getting out of bed this morning after the big hike last night. We got in at about 9.30, had dinner. Lee chose to stay up a little bit later and is feeling it this morning. Um, but yeah, we're almost at the top of Akatenango. <laughs> time to pack but this was our cute little glamping style tent area we all had our own cots Lee had my blanket Max you offered it to me so we are now on the final descent it's only I think about 8 a.m. but because we got up so early we're already on the way down it's been really hard a lot harder than we thought it was going to be we're really proud of our whole like group everyone did really well including Aki including probably well probably the best Aki did it the easiest for sure and just a little fact about Guatemala Guatemala actually has 30 volcanoes and three of them alive Fuego being one of them and we got to stand right beside Fuego last night we, it was mind-blowing mind-blowing experience and we count ourselves so lucky that the weather cleared up for us and yeah, it's something we'll remember forever. What's this style you got going on, Lee? I'm walking sideways to prevent my knees from hurting and because my feet hurt. We are absolutely exhausted. We had such a fun two days uh, hiking Akatenango with Wicho and Charlie's. Yeah, it was incredible. Better than I really could have expected. Mm. A lot harder than I expected too. Extremely uh, vigorous. Especially the extra Fuego hike. That was probably, yeah. I don't know whether it was lack of prep by us, but it was one of the hardest things we've yeah. ever done. So I was just sitting in my van um, doing a bit of video editing and my friend Rowan has come and raised the alarm because there was ash falling on the van and it turns out Fuego, which is over my right shoulder there, has erupted. This is the same volcano that we were hiking three days ago. Hikers go up there every day and I'm really hoping that they got early warning for this today and got down there. Um, we have heard that there's been six deaths so far and 20 injured. We're not sure who that involves, but fingers crossed that's all of them. So that right there is, that's Fuego on the left and Akatenango on the right. And on a day like this, you should be able to see the top, but you can see kind of that smoke coming down. I think that's from where the lava flow was on the left there. So that is the footpath covered with ash. Okay, so it is now Wednesday, it is four days after that horrible large volcano eruption of Volcano Fuego. 
It has already claimed so many lives and the death toll continues to rise. Most people caught up in it were local villagers that just couldn't get away enough in, quick enough in time. Yesterday I did my first Spanish class with a local Spanish teacher. Obviously it came up about the eruption and we were talking about it. He's lost two friends from it and his daughter's friends, her whole family of 13 people all died in the volcano eruption. It's absolutely horrible stuff. Sunday, uh, many people die because the, the volcano ex explode, explode, explosion, it's a big explosion, but uh, people thinking the, the activity is, is normal. The people don't, don't uh, pay attention to the, the, this problem. The many, many towns um, around the volcano uh, it's destroyed uh, because the, the lava take another way. Uh, people think it, it's, it's normal. It's sí. no, no, no problem. So why, why do they think it's normal? Because it happens regularly? Yes. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. another, another uh, times it's the same. Lava mm -hmm. coming, mm -hmm. it clo uh, pass close the, the, yeah. the, this bridge, sí. the puente. And people think it's, it's the same. Mm -hmm. One hour, two hours is an activity, it finished. Mm -hmm. But in this time, it's different. We kind of uh, explode. Sí. It's big, very big. It create a new crater. Yeah. It did lava, it ash, and rocks coming very fast. Yeah. It people, when, when people um, uh, to realize yeah. it's very late, it's not possible to escape. People try, but yeah. many people die. The problem, people say it's, oh, it's activity is normal, it's mm -hmm. no problem. But when people uh, realize it's very late, it's not possible to escape. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The lava take different ways yeah. mm -hmm. in, in different uh, towns, if people die. Yeah. Many people, instead of running, uh -huh. people uh, enter in their houses, he closed the doors. Uh, it's the problem. They thought they could survive by being exactly. inside. Mm -hmm. People think it's only uh, full uh, ash or smoke, it's uh -huh. no problem, but no. Lava coming in the houses, yeah. it destroy. No escaping it. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Some people thinking it's close in rooms, it's the walls protect. Mm. No. And so, so at the moment, the Guatemalan government is reporting that there's approximately 200 people still mm -hmm. missing. Exactly. Do you think that's an accurate number, or do you think there's more than that? The people, uh, survivor, say in the town in El Rodeo, sí. people say living approximate. 2,000 or 100 people. Sí. Is escape maybe 300. It's, 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 so there's 2,200 people exactly. potentially mm -hmm. missing. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And it's, why do you think that's not reported by the government? Because the government say no, no. Uh, I I don't know exactly, but I think the government don't tell exactly because no care, no don't want. Uh, the international countries say the government is so stupid. And so maybe they don't want more bad press for the for the Guatemala. They exactly. want exactly. Mm -hmm. I guess the higher the death toll gets, the worse it, it. The more dangerous Guatemala appears. Exactamente. Or maybe the government wants uh, uh, another country thinking Guatemala is 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 ready for. Any disasters because this time is it's hard, but no many people mm -hmm. die. It's okay. Yeah. This is mm -hmm. this country is safe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's no, no, it's not true. It's many people die. Many. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much for sharing that, and yeah, it's been absolutely horrible, but it's okay. Thanks for sharing it's your experiences. You're <laughs> it's good for me. <laughs> 
People say Waramana is hurt, but not dying. No. Waramana is survivor. It's, it's, the people suffer now, it's no, no alone. Yeah. Many people help, support. Yeah. They're not alone. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm.